Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be doing an early review of set number 75372, the Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. This is a set that came out, or is coming out, at the end of 2023 in 2024, I think on January 1st. And I was lucky enough to see it at Target, and they actually let me get it. I don't know why, I've tried to get sets early at Target before, and they haven't let me, but I actually was able to get this. So anyway, the set comes with 215 pieces and 9 minifigures for $30. That's insane. That's unheard of. I'm so excited to unbox this. Some of these clone troopers look really cool. So taking a look at the box art, we can kind of see what the set looks like. It has this tri-droid in the back. I don't really know what it's called. I think it's like Omni something. I will look that up when I'm done recording this. But I think it looks super cool. I like the side builds here, except for this like speeder thing. I think it looks a little missized, but nice first impression. And then on the bottom, you can see the nine minifigures included. Although five of them are battle droids, but still, that is the new mold for the super battle droid. We haven't gotten them since, I think, 2015, and I actually had the last set with the super battle droid in it. And my super battle droid sadly cracked, and I wasn't <laughs> able to get a replacement from LEGO until now, I think. I could probably finally order a replacement. But yeah, I think in the background, it's Christophsis, or I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's from an episode of The Clone Wars that I actually watched. So I do remember the scene. I think Anakin, like, slices open the droid at the top. I really do like that episode. And then on the back, we have some, another like scene of them fighting the droids with the stap up here. Looks super cool. I'm really excited to see the minifigures in this set. All right, let's unbox this thing. So I think it has push tabs, which is very unfortunate with Lego or thumb tabs or whatever they're called. Very unfortunate because you just have to ruin the box. Oh my God, man. Have they made them tougher? Oh yeah, that's, that's really rough. Whatever, I'm just gonna... Oh, I spared that one. Look at that. I spared a thumbtack. I don't think I've ever done that before. So this is what was inside the box. We have three bags here, and then we have this instruction manual over here for it looks like the side builds and the minifigures. And then over here we have the instruction manual for the big droid thing. So yeah, two instruction manuals and still plastic bags, although I have seen some LEGO sets converting to paper bags, so it's interesting that LEGO chose to go plastic with this set. But anyway, I'll come back when I have it built. So this is what it looks like all finished and built. As you can see, there's a bunch of different builds here, and there are a lot of minifigures included in the set. I still can't believe there's nine, and they all are really good. Let's take a look at the play features. Starting off with the speeder bike, this speeder bike is kind of weird. I don't really like the design of it. I feel like these things in the front make it look a little bit squashed. I feel like it would look a lot better if these were put on the end like this. I don't know, I feel like it would look like a better, more traditional Star Wars speeder bike. Yeah, I kind of do like this look a lot better. But you can also shoot the stud shooters on the side, which are this new style. They're like kind of side launchers, and they launch pretty well. They do fit really nicely there. They don't look too obtrusive, except from the front. It looks a little ridiculous, but I think those fit well there. You can also stick clone troopers on the bike. You can have a guy in the front kind of piloting it, and you can also have a guy in the back shooting their two guns, because the guns can kind of store on these rack in the back, so it kind of gives it like a back turret, and I think that's super cool how they kind of made it so you can transport all their weapons with the speeder. Next up, we have this side build turret thing, which I think goes with the clone side. And it has a stud shooter on the top that you can launch, just like the other ones. It has a lot of power to it. And then you can also store weapons on it. Something cool you can do with this set, like I said before, is you can put the weapons on it. You can kind of have, like, a gun peek over to the side because it's attached with this little clip. And on this side, you can also have them, like, stored upright. So it is a nice side build, but it doesn't add much to the set. Next up, we have the Battle Droid Stap. I do know this is called a Stap now. Kind of a weird name, but I think it looks super cool. I have another version of this, which I'll pop up on the screen. It's probably disassembled in my closet right now. But I do like this design better. I feel like the color is more accurate. Could use some prints, but I feel like in a battle pack, that's okay. And it still uses the same design for like the thrust and the head. You can attach this battle droid to it. And he also has a weapon on his back for storage while he's on the stap. So that's a really nice kind of play feature there that you don't have to worry about the droid's weapon while he's operating it. Taking a look at the Octopatara droid, I think it's what's called, Octu something. But this is a droid that I actually remember seeing it in the Clone Wars movie, which is what this is from when it was on Ryloth. And it is pretty accurate, I'd say. It has some nice posability with the legs, although I think this is the most accurate way you can have it. And it has that nice swivel function that you see in the movie. It's super cool. I really like this. I think it's super accurate. It does have flick fire missiles, which surprisingly are not the worst thing ever like they're still kind of hard to fire but i feel like they fire a lot better 
and they do kind of fit there and I really do like this and also inside of the thing there's this weird like pink piece I think it's supposed to represent a brain but I don't know why that's in there because it's like a robot it doesn't really have a brain but I guess that's a nice easter egg I've heard that lego designers like to sneak in pink pieces to lego sets so this could be like a way they did that Taking a look at the minifigures in the set, first off we have three white, I think they're phase two clone troopers, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these guys look really good, they have a lot of details. I think the only problem with them is probably the helmet holes on the side, kind of makes them look a bit funky, but they do have a lot of new prints I think, and they look really nice. Underneath the helmets they have this new like clone trooper face design, which I think they've been using for a while, and I much prefer it to that old angry face, I think it like is a lot more accurate to what we see in the movies. And I also like how they included a clone trooper with like a different weapon, like this is, has like the rifle with a candlestick on the end. I think that's supposed to be like a silencer or something, but it's a nice inclusion to make them a bit different because other than that, they all are exactly the same. Next up, we have the clone shock trooper, and this is a trooper I don't really know much about. The one thing I do know is that I think these guys guard Coruscant, which is kind of confusing why it's on Ryloth, which I think is where the set takes place. It's a battle pack though, so they kind of include whatever they want, but I do feel like it's not the most accurate thing ever. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't really remember from the show or the movie, but he is really detailed. I think it's the same as in the Coruscant Guard gunship. I'm not sure though, and he comes with binoculars and a pistol, which is nice. Take a look at his back printing. And then underneath the helmet, I think it's just the same clone face, which I really do like. I much prefer it, like I said, to that angry face before. Moving on to battle droids, there are two battle droids included in the set, not including the supers. And I think this is the same mold they used to use, it's just they seem a little bit paler to me. Maybe it's just because my battle droids are faded, but they have this nice like new silver gun piece. Or it might, it might not be new, but they definitely haven't used it for battle droids before. And this one on the right is the one that pilots the staff, and he has like a nice... Anyway, this is the guy that pilots the staff, and he has that nice, like, silver blaster on the back with the backpack, which I think is super unique and cool. It is not, like, a unique piece, it's just, like, a clip, but I think that's nice. I really do like the inclusion of the silver blasters, though. I feel like that makes these battle droids a little bit unique. Finally, we have the super battle droids, and I think these guys are amazing. It's been so long since we've had super battle droids, and the last set that had them, I actually have that set. And my super battle droid sadly cracked because the pieces are so weak. And I'm really glad to have more of them. They are so cool. They actually are updated, and we'll take a look at that now. So the one on the right is the one from 2015, and before that, that's like the old mold that LEGO used. And the one on the left is the one from this new set, the Battle Pack. And you can see there's slight differences, like the on the torso, you can see that the one on the left has like the dot that marks like the red thing on their chest. I don't know what that is, but they didn't print that, but it's nice they included the dot. And you can see on the one on the left, the printing seems finer, the head is also thinner. And there's like some slightly different changes. It seems like the one on the right is a little bit like bigger around the waist. Maybe the one on the left one on a diet or something. But yeah, I think there are some other differences with the arms as well. Like some of the joints look a little bit different. Like the one on the left, they seem a little bit finer and more like nicely molded. And the one on the right seems to be more faded. I don't know if that's from old age, but I do definitely like the one on the left better. I just feel like it has more detailed mold and... I guess not really printing, but I just feel like the mold is better and improved. One side thing in the set that isn't really a minifigure and isn't really like a side build is kind of just this box that includes a thermal detonator inside, which is a nice printed piece. I think it is the only printed piece in the set besides the minifigures. And so yeah, that also covers stickers and prints. All right, so now talking about like value and price per piece, I think the set is a great value. It comes with nine minifigures for $30. Like what I used to expect of LEGO Star Wars was one minifigure for every $10, which is definitely not a thing anymore, but I feel like with this set, you get nine for $30, that's like one minifigure for every $3, which is pretty insane. Like this is just crazy. Even though some of them are battle droids, like they're new and I feel like the super battle droids are a lot better than the older ones. So I do really think that this set is worth your money at $30. So yeah, I think this is great value. So overall, I feel like the set is amazing and I think it deserves my first 10 out of 10 rating of any LEGO set on my channel, or I think, if I'm remembering correctly. But I just think the set is amazing. You get great minifigures, great builds, except for the speeder. But like I showed before, I feel like if you flip the triangle pieces on the front, it actually looks pretty good. And it's just amazing value, amazing builds. I love the staff and the Omni whatever droid. I think it's super cool, super detailed super nicely designed. It won't fall apart. Like there's like no weak parts in this set. 
and I just think it's a great set. So 10 out of 10 set, Lego, you did amazing with this set. So there you have it, guys. That's my review of set number 75372, Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. Like I said before, I think this is actually probably one of the best Lego Battle Packs that Lego's ever made, maybe, maybe even one of the best sets they've made. So yeah, if you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.